Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to weld aluminum pipe. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get a really good root penetration but also get great appearance on the outside of your weld. When I'm welding pipe I like to bevel it at about a 45 degree angle unless it's some real thick like schedule 80 and then I'll do about I'd say probably 32 and a half like most people. I'll grind it down to where there's only about a 16th inch land um, and that's what I use for every type of aluminum pipe, even if it's Schedule 80. Right here I'm just scotch brighten it so it'll look nice after it's welded. Uh, and Then I go ahead and I go around and get all the burrs out because even if you weld it, it'll with aluminum it just pushes those oxides to the surface so you'll still have a real rough surface if you don't do that. Then I'll set it in my V-blocks that I use and I'll Put them together, make sure it lines up, tack them up, and I usually put four tacks, technically three, but then I start up where the fourth tack would be. So I do basically at or 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and then I start at 9 o'clock when I weld. This is where those V-blocks come in real handy. And I just like to move to whatever is comfortable while I'm welding. So I switched over to this side and that seemed to work better. A lot of people think that welding on pipe is more difficult than plate. And it is a little bit, but it's practically the same thing. It's basically you're welding a butt weld, but you're rolling your hand the whole time. So when I light up, I like to just let it clean for a little bit. And once it's cleaned, I'll start that puddle and I'll let it try and get it to flow by itself. And just slowly increase the amps on your pedal until it dips in and you'll see it concave in. And once it concaves in, I wait a second and then start moving. And each time I move, I make sure it's sinking down and then I add filler and I'm adding probably a little over a quarter inch to a half inch of filler each time. Enough so that when it dips in, I push in and it'll build up. If it's not building up, you've got too much heat and you need to let off. Uh, if it's not dipping in, you don't have enough heat. So that's the kind of way that I judge on how to adjust my foot pedal. See, uh, when, it, when it gets to the side, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. When it concaves in, you'll, the way I judge is by watching the uh, reflection. And you'll see the edges just soak in right there. And that's how I know when to add filler. Here's a nice inside view. I've lit up and it'll just, you'll see how long it takes before it actually soaks through. There it's soaked through, so I back up right into the end of my last weld. And then once I do that, I start moving. That's why it's important with aluminum. You just wait. You start your puddle and wait. Make sure it soaks in. You'll watch it sink. And that's how you know it's melted through and you've got penetration. And from that point, back into your last weld and continue forward. There I am using the cleaning action before I even start. Now I've started and I'm just letting it soak in. Just let it soak that heat up. Once it's soaked, I back up, add filler, start moving. And each time I'm making sure that the, that puddle is sinking. If it's not sinking, you need to wait or add more uh, on the pedal. And also you want to keep your tungsten nice and close, uh, as close as you can without touching. When you're on your last pass and you're coming into your final bead, um, I generally like to run past it at least two ripples and then add in a fair amount of filler at the end to pile it up and make sure you don't get a uh, cold crack at the end there. So here's the finish of that. 
you can see my filler rod angle was all from the side, and that's because the camera was in there, so it was a pain in the butt to uh, actually <laughs> try and weld. So here's this one, how it turned out. After I welded that, I cut off this section and welded this without the camera in the way so you could see what that looks like. And uh, it turned out pretty good. There's the penetration and as you can see it's penetrated real even all the way through. And that's what I like to see when I'm doing pipe welding. Well guys, I hope you learned something. I enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, put a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're not. I'm going to be making a lot more aluminum videos. Uh, my next one is probably going to be either uh, open corner or butt welds. And I'll show you how to get good penetration and a real nice bead profile.